of CBS hey, Chicago. Hey, how you doing? Good. Are you? Um, it seems like only, <laughs> know, only a matter of 18 hours ago yeah. that we were lost together. Excellent. All right, I'm, I'm asking the safety gas question. Cool. So we'll start from here. Can you set up the story for us? Of the Absolutely. The, um, basically, I play a, a young lawyer called Arthur Kipps who is given a very, very, what seems like a very tedious, boring job at the beginning of the movie. He is sent to collect and organize the paperwork of a recently deceased woman. He gets there and suddenly all hell breaks loose. He is uh, set upon uh, by a, a ghost, um, the, the woman in black, and it is, uh, yeah, it's not pretty. It's, it, then it's like, then it's, it, then it's about an hour's worth of really scary times. Excellent. The film includes many elements of the classic ghost genre. Can you expand on this, on what those elements are and how the film plays them? Um, I suppose the classic elements would be things like um, they are, you know, there's the, the villagers who really make it clear that they do not want me there and that I, and I can't quite figure out why they don't want me there. They are, uh, there's creepy Victorian toys, there's uh, a haunted house, obviously. What else have we got? Uh, loads of other stuff that's really scary. How are the scares in a ghost story different than the scares in, like, a bloody gory film? Oh, because these scares are all about what you don't see and about about and it's about the it's about the 99 99% of any scare is in the anticipation of it and in the suspense and James Watkins our director takes a lot of time to build up that tension build up that suspense so that when those jump moments come your body is kind of ready for them audiences seem to come out of this movie talking about how much fun they've had yeah what is it about a good scary movie that's so much fun um i think it's because when you when you scream and when you get really scared you are completely unselfconscious for a second and you look like an idiot basically and we all do and there's no shame in it and and so i think it's the moment like after uh, you know after the scare everyone kind of looks around and realizes that they all looked a bit silly and laugh with each other and it is nice to be scared particularly if you go you know i think this film would be great and very scary to see alone but i think it'd be great to see with like at least one other person but even better with a group like i think that'll be like that that would be a real laugh i think anyway and are you easily scared and what was the last time you were legitimately frightened um god i uh, when was the last time I was legitimately frightened? I, I actually don't think I know. Um, nothing scares me. No, I, I, I really don't know the answer to that question, but what scares me in life, um, you know, I, I, we, I've been, this is the only answer I've been able to come up with for this, but Yellowstone Volcano. Uh, it's a pretty scary. That thing's ready to go at any minute, and if it does, we're screwed. So, uh, yeah, that's what scares me. Okay, great.